Oh gosh, I really didn't want to do this, but I've been asked a couple times to um, go live and apply my lip scent so you can see how you're supposed to do it or whatever. I'm not sure if this is cutting me off or not, the video, but oh, all right. Um, I know everybody's sick of it because I've posted like a million lip sense videos or I mean pictures, videos, whatever, but I'm just going to tell you lip sense is like the lip line of Senegence and Senegence is skincare and makeup. Um, you use three layers of lip color to put on there and it can be the same color or it could be three different colors but regardless you need three layers and you put gloss on afterwards. It's a two-step process. Do you have to use the gloss? Yes. Um, but there's seven different kinds of glosses that we have. Can you use other companies gloss with it? No, you can't. It has to be ours. Um, but the first two weeks, two, four weeks, once you start, you have to use the glossy gloss. It's like shea butter and it's really amazing and um, you, you really need it because you need the extra moisture. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how I apply my lip scents and um, the first time it's going to take you a few minutes until you get used to it, but then it goes faster, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, you put the lip scents, oh, and this is guaranteed, so if you're not happy, which I haven't had anybody tell me they're not yet, but if you're not happy with it, then you can return it. But like I said, three layers, either three of the same color or mix it up. You can do one layer of one color, one of another, one of another, whatever. Anyway. I'm going to use um, two of my favorites today. Um, one is pink champagne and one's beige champagne. They're both kind of real light, little neutral. They're not too loud. Um, I stopped wearing lipstick. I'll tell you this real quick too. I stopped wearing lipstick like for about 15, 20 years because I used to be a heavy smoker years ago and so I got these little lines around my mouth so whenever I would put this on then it would like bleed you know and feather into those little lines so I stopped wearing it and stopped wearing any and I just was a chips chapstickaholic and I always always put chapstick on well anyway now you don't need chapstick now you don't need any other moisturizers you can just use this and I have been wearing this every single day it's really is amazing. You could take a shower, brush your teeth, go to the dentist, you could eat, you could make out, you could do whatever, you can anything. It's not coming off. For me, it stays on a really long time. But some people not as long. Me, it stays on, I know, over 18 hours. Anyway, getting to it. <laughs> you shake up your lip color. There's a little ball in there. You must shake it up really good. You apply it to clean, dry lips. Okay, I'm going to use um, beige champagne first. Let's see, I had a little notification on there. And I think this lighting is okay. Lord have mercy. Okay. So after you shake it up really good, like I said, you put it on clean, dry lips. And my lips are clean and dry right now. They look kind of pink, but that's just what color they are. So I'm going to use this mirror over here. You go in one direction only. You can't go back and forth like you would normal lipstick or lip gloss. You have to go one direction, just do three light layers. Okay, so... And then, you also have to keep your lips apart while you're doing it. You don't want them to touch, which you'll notice because they kind of stick together. And, um... What else was I going to tell you about this? <laughs> That's one layer. You don't want it to touch. You keep your lips so hard. <laughs> it's a little harder than you think. And then I'm going to do pink champagne. You let it dry about 10-15 seconds in between each layer.
Everybody's really quiet that's on there. Okay, so you're going to let that dry. Think about that. And then... All right, now I'm doing the third layer. Usually by the third layer, I go back through and just make sure I'm not like missing any spots or went over the line or I didn't cover it completely and then you can kind of do whatever you need to do. All right, um, no, uh, Pam, you do not need a liner. You don't need a liner with it. Some people like a liner, and we do sell liner, so you can use it, or you can just use a little thin brush liner and put it in there. And um, hey, Blake, I miss you too. Anyway, and you can um, use the liner if you want to, but you don't need one. Um, so now that I got all three layers on, I'm going to let it dry. Usually I try like 20 seconds, maybe even less than that, until it's completely dry. And then you can put the gloss on. Once you put the gloss on, then it's sealed. I mean, that stuff is not coming off. All right. And the only way, well, if you want to take get this off when you get it off, whether it's when you're going to bed or you just want it off, um... We have a oops remover, and that'll remove it. Or um, you can use any kind of, like, or you can use witch hazel. That's good to use to take it off. Or soap and water. You'll figure out which works best. I use witch hazel usually. Um. <laughs> anyway, like, he's so. All right, so our lip gloss, I'm putting on the glossy gloss. Um. This one you can go back and forth. And anybody who's used it will tell you it's amazing. Um, and see the applicator for the lip gloss? There's no color on it. None. Hey, Courtney, thank you. All right. See, it only takes a few seconds the first, or a few minutes the first time you do it. Once you do it more, every single day, you'll get the hang of it, so it goes. Um, oh, the, that's a good question, Pam. The gloss stays on. Uh, usually, like, it goes on real wet looking and real shiny, the glossy gloss. But usually within 30 minutes, it'll dry to a matte, and you're fine. But you can reapply the gloss as many times as you want all throughout the day. Um, I put it on before I go to bed. I put it on because it's got vitamin E and shea butter, and it's really, really moisturizing and really good for your lips, and it feels amazing. So you can reapply it as oftentimes as you want. I mean, it's really good stuff. But like I said, the color you put on once, and you're done. The gloss, you can continue to keep putting it on as you need it, or just put it on once, and that's it. But now that the gloss is on, it is sealed. It is done. That stuff is not coming off. You're not going to see it rubbed on my face. It's not going to be on your coffee cup, not on your man's cheek, not nothing. It's there. It's set. So um, some people may think this might be kind of pricey, but it's really not because you can go through three or four sticks of lipstick before you will use one tube of this color. And this can last you like eight months. I mean, it's insane. So um, I think I just got some gloss on my chin. But, um, yeah, so now I'm going to make a lipstick person, and I will not, I don't ever leave the house without it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And there's over 70 different lip color shades. I think 77 and seven different lip glosses. But besides all of that, there is also um, the skincare, and there's the whole makeup line with foundation, mascara, eyeshadow, everything. Um, so it's not just that. If you want a catalog or you need more information, just message me. And um, it's for the gloss and the color, it's 50, it's 45. But if you want the kit, which is the 
oops remover, the color, and a gloss, then that's 55. That's the little lip collection lip kit. Um, but if you really like it, like most of my customers that end up ordering from me, they end up buying several colors because it does get a little addicting, um, then you can um, become a distributor. It only costs 55 bucks, really, seriously, $55. And then you can just get be a discount shopper and just buy the stuff, you know, cheaper. You don't even have to worry about selling it, but you can get it cheaper. But anyway, let me get off this thing because I've just been rambling. But a couple of people have been asking me to do it, so there you have it. I don't know if I covered everything, but I tried. This live thing. Oh, was I like cutting off my head when I did it earlier? Oh, well. All right, Pam. Um, thank you. And anyway, thanks everybody else for watching. Um, okay, thanks, Pam. All right, talk to you later, everybody. Have a good Sunday night. Bye.